How's it going Guardians? Cloud Plays here and welcome back to another Destiny video here on this channel and in today's video guys we're going to be telling you how you can get to light level 400, that's the max lighting here on Destiny without having to do the Nightfall, the Raid or the Trials of Osiris. That means that you are not going to have to get in contact with any other player in the game. Now obviously this video is built for those people that do not have any friends that play the game and don't fancy actually getting to know any new people within the community, which is fine and I completely understand there are some solo players out there who like to do these things. So starting off guys, if you're not already 365, then you just want to be hitting the normal Siva Strikes. The normal Siva Strikes are going to get you some blue engrams and they will drop all the way up to 365. Just hammering those strikes consistently is definitely the way to get to that level. Now once you are out 365 guys, it is still continuously tedious because you are now going to have to go into the heroic Siva strikes. Now obviously making sure that you are gaining reputation throughout a faction and throughout the vanguard obviously is going to help you a ton because you're going to be picking up legendary engrams, you're going to be getting loot from the heroic strikes and you're also going to be gaining faction packages. Now the faction packages get you up to level 390. So if you keep hammering in these strikes and keep getting that reputation, you are basically going to be able to get all the way up to 390 by just doing these strikes. Now while you are doing all of these strikes guys, I must stress that you must keep hold of all of your skeleton keys. Now I'm going to tell you why in just a moment, but what you are going to want to do guys is make sure that you have got 5 skeleton keys on each character because any more than that you will not receive any more. So once you receive your first 5 skeleton keys you want to be putting that into the vault and then transferring it to another character so that way you can carry on on your normal character and just keep going throughout the Seaver Strikes. So if you keep hammering those heroic strikes, that's basically going to get you all the way up to 390 based on the fact that you are going to be opening your faction packages up until that point and saving your skeleton keys. Now again, throughout all of these guys, make sure you are popping three of coins and saving those exotics. Now I know that is very, very difficult because obviously it gets really tempting just to open up those exotics, but that's going to be a crucial moment for you to get to that light level 400. So you're now at 390 light, you've been hammering strikes for bloody years now and you're wondering how do you get to that final max lighting of 400 light. Now guys it doesn't get any easier because it is still going to be the strikes. Except this time you're going to be using your skeleton keys to open those chests and that's going to get you loot up to 400 light level. Now obviously they are strike specific loot so only certain chests will give you certain areas such like for instance the shield brothers will give you gauntlets, dark blade will give you a helmet and a fusion rifle, you can get primaries such as the grasp of malak from the omnigal strike and it goes on from there. Now obviously you're going to have to build up your equipment accordingly so you're going to have to have those levels matching up slightly. Another good way of getting your artifacts and ghosts is going to be through Archon's Forge. Now Archon's Forge doesn't just drop ghosts and doesn't just drop artifacts, it also does drop weapons which can go up to like 385 or something like that so it doesn't actually affect your level but you can get some really good weapons from there. It also drops class items at an extremely high level as well as armor which can drop up to a relatively high level as well. Now obviously once you do get to 390 you want to be then popping all of your exotic engrams at the Cryptarch just to use for that light level gaining. Now do not just go and spam all of these engrams all at once, you want to be opening one and then checking to see what light level it is because if you can get higher light levels from these exotics which is highly possible then you are going to want to either infuse or equip these exotics because the higher light level you are it increases the average of what drop you are going to get. So if you are a 390 and you get an exotic at 390 then it's not going to affect you at all. You're still going to be getting anything from 389 to 392 but if you open an exotic and it happens to be a 392 level and you put that on it automatically ups your average as to what drop can come out of the next exotic. So making sure that you are only popping one at a time and infusing and equipping the places that need them the most. A higher light level when encrypting engrams is always a lot better because if you can encrypt them at a higher level you get better loot. 
Another good way is when Iron Banner does drop, you do not need to be in a fire team. You can still get really, really good drops from the Iron Banner. And whilst we're talking across the Crucible, the Crucible in general drops up to level 400 weapons. It doesn't just drop primaries, it doesn't just drop secondaries, and it doesn't just drop heavies. It drops them all across the board. So these weapons can go all the way up to light level 400. So, so if you are now bored of strikes and you don't want to go into Archon's Forge today, just make your way over to the Crucible and you can go and gain yourself some high light level weaponry. So it is possible guys to get up to light level 400 without doing the Nightfall, the Raid and the Trials of Osiris. Once you do get to a certain level, attempting the Nightfall as a solo is never a bad move. I know that it can be done with a lot of them and I know a lot of people do do them. We're also going to be covering a lot of those here on this channel from now on. So if you do want to solo the Nightfalls, then make sure you smash that subscribe button because we're going to be covering them over here. Nice little cheese methods and easy ways to solo the Nightfalls. Well anyway Guardians, I hope this did help you out. If it did help you out in any way, shape or form, make sure you leave a blue thumbs up because it would mean a hell of a lot to me if we can hit 15 likes on this video. It would be freaking awesome. And if this does happen to be the first video you've seen from me, CloudPlays, then make sure you subscribe for daily gaming content and we also live stream it six days a week here on YouTube. Thank you very much again for jumping in guys, but as always Guardians, I'll see you in the clouds.